So good afternoon everyone, we'll get going right away. Who wants to start us off? Yeah, Alex? I have no show. Um, a win in the end, but was it a match probably harder than it needed to be? Yes, because if we score in the first half all the chances that we create, I think it was finished after 45 minutes the game. But and then when we missed too many chances and then we concede in the way that we concede, I think it was the emotional impact and we know very well the, the beauty of the of the cup. We saw yesterday different games like Covent, uh, both uh, with Coventry. That is football, that is football, of course. But I think no one can say that we didn't deserve. I think we fully deserve to be on Wembley and we are in Wembley and the objective is done again. And for the second time, uh, uh, first was the Carabao Cup, we were in the final. And now we are again in the FA Cup, you know, in the semi-final, going to Wembley twice at the moment. Hope that three times we can go. But I think uh, this group of players deserve big credit and also the staff, because in a circumstance that we are uh, from the beginning of the season, I think it's, it's massive to get twice, you know, the uh, the possibility to fight for a for a title. Thanks, Alex. Matt? I'm really sorry. Yes, hello. Can I just check what you made of the penalty and whether Raheem should have taken it or whether Cole Palmer should have taken it? No, I think you know very well that it's goal, but a goal gave the, the ball to Raheem. I think they have very good relationship that came from, of course, from Manchester City when they were both in Manchester City. I think when Ray asked for the ball to take the penalty, I think Cole gave, you know, the and you saw, you can see in the in the TV. But that is not a problem. Cole can miss, Ryan can miss. Look, for me, the decision is, is there and, and of course, uh, I'm going to support always uh, the decision of my player on the on the pitch that is about to, to grow and be more mature and and of course um, always happy with the decision. Liam, <coughs> I how do you feel that Raheem dealt with everything today? It was a difficult day for him in terms of performance and there was a kind of atmosphere. Yes, it's obvious that I cannot hide nothing. You know, I think you are like me uh, that the feelings weren't good for him and. But I'm going to support him, and we are all we are going to. Support. I think was a great today is a great opportunity to support, to support him. He has an unbelievable uh, um, CV, uh, like a player, player in a big teams, experienced player. Of course, uh, today uh, missed the penalty and some chances, but look. I think I am happy with him, and we are going to support. And I see the chances uh, we have. We are. We are. It's, I think the chances to show that we are building something because I think uh, we are going to support him, and and for sure he are going to get uh, the read on the game that he need to help the team. And of course, and then it's my decision, like always, you know, to to play with eleven player and choose my, by the player. Always talking about my feelings and and the performance. Mm, always doing the best for the for the team and for the club and of course for the fans and of course is is keep going is being strong and believing in the in the way that we are doing the things. Thank you, Gary. Richo, Hello, Gary. We, we mustn't forget that he did incredibly well, Raheem, to create the second goal. Yes. Is it right that the fans do any of that? But I think uh, yes, we need to accept. You know, we need to accept. Uh, we need to accept the the situation like uh, when I try to explain the situation on the squad <laughs> I try to explain maybe I need to be the to explain also the fans I think um, we need to accept it doesn't mean that we are agree or not agree but we need to accept because uh, our fans or the fans in football live about uh, expectation and about Illusion and and always want the best for the club and for the player, but of course, when you know much the the expectation and 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 that is the the, the difficult thing for our fans to understand, you know, and but I I, I was talking you no know, in the past also I am strong, <laughs> I have no problem, you know we are going to keep moving in the same direction, and of course we want to create better and more. I cannot lie, I hope. Next game, our fans be always in conditional, 
in behind the team because we are representing the Chelsea and the player also. They want to give the best for the for the club and for the fans because I think the player cannot play badly or you know. But I think we are in a process that we want to to make happy our fans uh, and we are going to try. Hope hope that we can create until to the end to the to the season a good connection with the with the fans and yes, I'm not going to criticize the fans never because I think they are entitled to say what they what they want. Thanks Gary. Welcome. Maurizio, all season we've been asking you, don't you need someone who can score a goal? Don't you need goal scorers? Were we wrong? Do you in fact need a new defence? <laughs> <laughs> We scored five today. <laughs> What's the goal of uh, Axel? <laughs> no, I think it's uh, it's more to find the balance, a collective, you know, balance. Because we have great offensive players, but they need also not to think into do actions. Is have more volume about because Premier League and we are in England, we cannot survive with two, three players that only do good action, amazing talent. But it's two phases in football. One when I have the ball, another when we when don't have the ball. And we cannot, if we concede goals, it's only the, def, the keeper or the, def, the defensive line. It's sometimes because we cannot, at the moment, to find this, this balance. That is why we have amazing players that are capable of uh, scoring an amazing goal. But that is, is not enough because they are young and need to be more mature where? in the situation that we need to help when we don't have the ball, to have more energy when we go to press and to make one, two, three effort. And sometimes if they broke the pressure, we need to run backward. But at the moment we have too many explosive players that can do amazing action, but then we don't have the volume. I want to explain and, and you translate to everyone, no? But that is the reality. That is why with sometimes it's difficult to find the consistency because of the profile of the, the squad. We need to fix that with time, like another team. In one, two, three, four years, they try to find the, the balance, you know, in this aspect, because it's not only, yes, some flashes and then, oh, why not play this? Why not play that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But after, you need to count the whole game, in not only in some action. But that is football. Sometimes happens with, with the fans in football. Always see, oh, what amazing, you know, action. But and then, <laughs> who understand really understand football? When you analyze, why we took the decision? Or we are uh, silly guys that we are in front to you, you know? Or, or the club pay big money to, to uh, the coaching staff like Jesus or like this, you know? To, to be in front. It's because I think we have some knowledge, no? But always it's about to find the, the, the right balance. That is why I don't believe it's only the defensive line or the we need to blame. It's we, we need to blame all together because at the moment, yes, we have good intention, but still we are growing. We are not in the level that we expect if we want to challenge the, the big size. Miguel. Okay. Just on building something, what has Ed, what have the cup runs done for the development of the team, given the results have been smoother than the league? Sorry, sorry, sorry. What, what have the cup runs done for the development of the squad, given the uh, results have been smoother than the league? Yeah, nuestras trayectorias tienen en la Copa, ayudando más que la trayectoria que estamos teniendo en la Liga, ayudando al. Yeah, because the Premier League is different. I think the competition is different. And and we were not lucky, I think, in too many periods on on the on the Premier League. It's true that we are close. And I really believe that we can get the last 10, 11 play, um, games to get good result and be higher in, in our position because we are there. But I think we were not lucky. I think I, I don't want to repeat again all the process from, from the beginning of the season. But I think the most important is little by little build build our relationship, build uh, build a squad that can you know be more consistent. That is the key. The key is about to to identify all the things that we need to change little by little during the season, last season, uh, the next season. You know, that is to have a vision what we need to be a stronger and a stronger, stronger and, and involved with the talent, the player, talent, uh, the talented player that we have. Yeah, but, you know, they need to progress also. And 
they have time also to realize that football is not only flashes, it's not only action, it's about to be consistent in two phases on the on the game. But of course, Premier League always is tougher, but we were not uh, lucky on the result. Of course, in Carabao Cup and now in the FA Cup, uh, we are doing well. And, and of course, it's, it's a knockout competition. And I think the team deserves big credit, you know. When we play with le less pressure, the team sometimes appear, uh, you know, better and give signals that we can progress. Premier League is tough and and you need some time more, be more mature and more experienced and because the game, you, uh, the pr approach of the games and after how you deal with the games is completely different. But I think, uh, yes, finding the balance, I think, we are in, I think we are in a good way, even if, yes, disappointed with the position on the table on Premier League, but I think I really believe that we can move move forward. Time for two more quick ones here and then Jacob to finish. Rita. Yes. Um, you said earlier that the fans need to trust you more, they need to trust that you can manage. No, I don't ask that they trust me. They need to trust on the club because on the end, if I am here, it's because the decision of the club and they need to trust on the pressure of the club. It's not to trust in me or to trust in the player is to trust on the club that the club is doing uh, what the club think that is good for the club and for, of course for the fans it's about to to trust in everyone but not only in me but do, but do you think they trust in you sorry but, but do you think they trust in you who and the fans if they trust in me you need to ask i think you have maybe better opportunity to talk with the people all the fans you know that i saw in the on the street they always showed my the support of them, but of course, if we are playing and we concede a goal, it's two two or like this, or they feel sometimes the emotion because they're disappointed. But <laughs> it's normal that they show the that they are not agree with some of course decision or because it's the feeling. But I, th I think we have very clever no uh, fans that they realize of the situation, and then when they are on the street, you know. I, I was open to talk with them and they show the, the support, of course. Take it finally. Maurizio, they reacted quite badly when you took off Madrid instead of Sterling. Are you, are you worried that that anger seems to be directed at you and there's no. lack of patience? No, that crime? is why I made the decision. I am not the Maoshi people here to do what the, the people want. Also, also, I am not stupid. I, I is not expressed to do this to go again, you know. I think for me, I saw Mudric and we analyzed, and he was tired. We, he was doing some stretching, and we thought that maybe not finish the game, and that will decide, you know, to go for first for Mudric and then for Rain. That is because we need to see everything. We are professional, and and we want to win, and but of course. Complete understand the situation. That doesn't mean that I am agree. But look, we are going to support Misha. We are going to support Sterling. We are going to support all the players that are in the squad. That is big because in the program, you don't have the program here. That today, thank you, boss. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Because people say, oh, big squad. But do you see the names? Under 18, under 18, under 18, under 18, under 21, under 21, under 21. And sometimes people you can confuse you, no, big squad. Do you know why we use too many and we put here? Because we use these guys. Few minutes in Carabao Cup, in the FA Cup, or in Premier League, because of the circumstance. It's only, no? Sometimes people want to talk like, uh, want to be nice. Uh, come on, we have, yes. Because we are not going to hide nothing. Big squad is long because we had too many injured players on the first team and we should use all the, uh, the kit and that are helping us. Second For second time in, this, in the FA Cup, Carabao Cup and the FA Cup on Wembley. That is always when I arrive to England on Southampton they say, no, we need to go to, in, uh, to Wembley, we need to go to Wembley, Southampton. And they told them, we need to go to Wembley, we need to go to Wembley. And now, look, in, in nine months, in the two different competitions, we got 
Wembley and we need to enjoy and we need to trust more. I really believe. I am a person, very positive person. I really believe in our fans. I really believe in the club and really believe the most important in the staff that we have today because all the staff is, you know, is fantastic. And of course, in our player, young, but I am enjoying a lot trying to help them to achieve what they, they want. And of course, all together, we will succeed, no, no doubt. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Thank you. Good uh, break, international break.